Do you know what I like to do during an eclipse? I like to look at some baseball cards. So I made the mistake of looking into the sun and there really was no eclipse here. So it was just the sun and I didn't have glasses and now I can't see anything. So that's where I'm at. My eyes need adjusting. How's it going guys? Hey, I have a bunch of stuff to show you. I have a few new things and I reordered some stuff. I got a few really sweet new cards though. Uh, before I get into that and everything else I want to show, I had shown these uh, tobacco cards that I picked up. I uh, just reordered them. I got five of them and uh, they are from uh, 1934 Champions set leave from England and I had won these on a whim I, I bid on them I won all five for uh, $20 including shipping and I just wanted them because they were cool um, tobacco cards but I didn't realize that uh, there are some great athletes in here and I didn't know that uh, first uh, one that was included and, and the last time I showed them I just kind of ran through them I had just got gotten them hadn't looked anybody up yet uh, but this is Dixie Dean, and I guess he was uh, one of the great early soccer players. And he holds a record for most goals in a single season with 60 uh, in English soccer. So that's a cool card. And I have uh, Primo Canera here. And Primo was a heavyweight champion boxer and a wrestler. And he holds the all-time record. He was a big guy. Holds the all-time record for most knockouts ever. Uh, with 72. Really cool card. And <clears throat> this is Sir Gordon Richards. And he is uh, in the conversation with greatest jockey of all time. He won, what did he win? I, 26 times he won. So a jockey card. And then we have Sir Malcolm Campbell and he was a racer and broke the speed record on both land and sea several times. And we have Jack Pedersen, who was a British uh, two-time heavyweight champion. Really cool card. So I wanted to show those cards again because I did not give them their due the first time around. But uh, great cards. For 20 bucks especially. Now, if they were graded PSA, those would have been 400. All right, a great card I got. Oh man, been wanting this card. Fantastic. This is a 1948 rookie card of Steve Van Buren. One of the great running backs back then. And I got this 1936 Wide Pen Premium, Lefty Gomez. And I got this 1939 Gaudi Premium, Ernie Lombardi. One of the greatest catchers. And it's a beauty. These have a little bit of a different back to them. So I add to both of these sets every now and again. I like to get the premiums. All right, I got uh, 
man, I got this 1.5 Zeke Benera, 1938 Gaudi. And man, I can't find anything wrong with it. Not sure why I got that designation. It's a really sharp looking card. Don't really see anything wrong with it. But I needed this for my 38 Gaudi set. He was a good first baseman, good defensively. Batted over 300, but uh, for his lifetime. And had one season really in the in the mid 300s, but uh, only had a seven year season, uh, seven year career. But a good defensive first baseman and an RBI machine. He averaged over 100 RBIs uh, every year he played. But always glad to add to this set. I got uh, 1964 Weedy Stamp Orlando Cepeda. I didn't have this for my set. And I, I realized it, uh, so I picked one up. I think he may be the last one I need. I have to check. I got this 1958 Billy Pierce. I didn't have this for my set. All right, I got, <laughs> man, Red Horner. 1936 Opeachy. Red Horner was like the original goon, man. He uh, set the all-time record for penalty minutes. And it was eventually broken by Ted Lindsay. He's in the Hall of Fame, but with some controversy. And I also got this one, which is a 1930... Uh, this is a 33 to 34 Ice Kings, and it's a beauty. Ice Kings. Great card. Happy to add some more vintage hockey. All right, I got this uh, 62 Salata coin of Willie Mays. Been working on this set too. Didn't have Mays. <clears throat> All right, I re-slabbed some things. First, I re-slabbed... You know what, I need to go back to Zeke here. Forgot to mention... Uh, when he was 16, he set the javelin record by 20 feet in track and field. When he was 16. Must have had a good arm. 1933 Gowdy, Goose Goslin. Gowdy. 33 DeLong, Goose, Goose Goslin. Slabbed that baby up. And I slabbed up my Bill Terry. And I slabbed this guy up, uh, um, Smee Jolly, from my 33 Tattoo Orbit set. I actually don't know him. I need I need to go read up on him whenever I uh, am done here. <laughs> but I got it for my set. I upgraded my Leroy Selman rookie card. 1977 tops. Fantastic defensive end. And of course, his brother Dewey played. And I re-slabbed some 1977 Steelers. I'll run through them. Rocky Blyer. And in 76, you know, the Steelers, Terry Bradshaw got hurt. They were off to a bad start. Bradshaw was out until the playoffs. And uh, they had to rely on their defense. And Franco and Rocky. And both Franco and Rocky both had over a thousand yards rushing. And you have to understand that's, uh, that's unheard of for two backs on the same team to do it, especially with less games than they have today. Uh, so they relied on their defense and they just ran the ball with a rookie quarterback, Mike Krujak, and they ended up going to the championship game. Uh, the defense, that defense, 
only gave up in the next nine games 29 points and had five shutouts. And they both rushed for over a thousand yards. Uh, they destroyed. Uh, who did they play? I think it was the Colts. I think in the first playoff game they destroyed them, but then they went up against the Oakland Raiders. And in the the first playoff game, both Franco and Rocky got hurt, and they had no running game. And uh, Oakland beat them. But the Steelers themselves consider their 1976 team the best defense they ever had. Here's Joe Green. Elsie Greenwood. Dwight White. Jack Ham. Randy Grossman. And JT Thomas. He played on the other side of Mel Blunt. I did a video talking about Mel Blunt and, and, and somebody commented that, you know, I guess I don't know what I'm talking about. They, they, they said Mel Blunt was a safety, not a cornerback. <laughs> like, okay. All right. I only watched him my entire life growing up. Okay. I re a uh, here. I got some hockey cards. Got this uh, Bruins line with uh, Ken Hogue, Phil Esposito, Wayne Cashman. These are from the, what, the 70, what are these, 70, 71 cards, I believe. A great card. And Bobby Orr. Fantastic card. And another Bobby Orr. Had to slab these up. I thought they looked good with my black uh, labels. Gordy Howe. And Bobby Hall. And here we have Dr. J. Slab that baby up. One of my, one of my 1971 Willie Stargels. Oh, and I forgot my two Francos. I actually have three. I have one in the display. But I, I have three of these that are so sharp. I don't know how I ended up with three sharp ones, but I did. Then I got this, uh, let's see here. I got this uh, Willie Stargell. Timeless Teams. This is uh, Upper Deck Vintage, 2001. And I've been adding to this set because this is a cool relic set. So now I have the Willie Stargell, uh, the Al Oliver, the Johnny Bench, and the Sal Bando. So I'll, I'll be looking to get more of those. I love that set. Somebody threw in this uh, Yamir Yager with my vintage hockey cards. And I re-slammed these. This is uh, my Reggie Miller rookie card. Great three-point shooter. And my big poppy. David Ortiz there. I have two versions of this A-Rod. Got this one. Which I always thought was a great card. And then years later I found this version with a silver signature. Now this stuff's a little in my blind spot, so I don't know the deal with this. Anybody wants to let me know in the comments, I'd appreciate it. I don't know if it's a short print or what. Never really looked it up. But uh, do have two versions of those. And lastly, I wanted to show you guys. Well, I got a Wemby. Highlights uh, this game with 23 points, 
13 rebounds, 7 assists, 5 blocks, and 5 three-pointers. He's having an amazing rookie season. I don't know. Has anybody had a better rookie season? I don't know. Don't know. So my man Orlando, collector's dream. You know, he was busting my chops. And he was showing from Topps' first set, the 1948 Magic Photos. Uh, his Hannes Wagner. His Hannes Wagner, man. Because I don't have that for my set. Um, but I do have a bunch of others, and I thought I'd show the others. So I just slabbed some that I don't have graded, and then I do have some graded, so I'll show them all. Uh, first, uh, here is the Ty Cobb from that set. Uh, and I actually have two of those. I have a SGC graded one too. Uh, here's Christy Mathewson. Cy Young. And these are these are so tiny and, and hard to store, so uh, I put them in tobacco sleeves and inside these and, and they're real nice in here. Uh, Walter Johnson. And I have one of the boxing ones, James Braddock. And you may know him from the movie, Cinderella Man. And uh, here's the Babe Ruth. Here's the Lou Gehrig. Tris Speaker. This is a Grover Alexander. This one's a little, little more faint. Uh, this is a great one. Um, George Sisler. Really fantastic looking. And this is Tinker to Evers. To Evers. Tinker to Evers. And this is a, this is a great one in the set. So those are the ones that I have from that set. All right, I'm going to uh, go rest my eyes and try to get my eyesight back. Thanks for watching, and thanks for hanging out with me.